So friends, today I want to show you a comparison between two fantastic lenses that I have here. One of them is the Noct Nikkor 58mm 1.2 and then to get a far comparison I look for a lens of an equivalent focal length and then aperture and then I found this also legendary lens which is the Minolta Rocor PG 58mm 1.2 that was sent to me for repair it was in very poor condition and then I just simply cleaned the aperture I regrease the helicals and then the lens is in very 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 good condition now and then I am able to do a comparison with this great lens as well so what can I tell you about these lenses the Nikkor Noct came out in 78 so this version here given the low serial number is maybe from 78 or 79 and then it is in very very good shape and then the rocker here came out in 68 so this version can be from 68 69 70 so but let, let's say we have a 10 year difference between these two lenses which are in very very good quality built so both lenses are in metal and then they are really 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 compact compact in comparison to the lenses of today because for example here I have a lens this is a Jongnuo or you can have a Nikon a Nikon one if you want to compare this is the 51.8 and then they are fairly in the same size obviously not the same weight but then what you can say is that the guys at the time really knew how to build quality things and then compact things this lens here uh, well the Nikkor is probably 10 years older it's in good shape but these guys here the Minolta is 55 years and then the Noct is 45 year old so is the this plastic lens going to be around still in 40 years I don't think so but then these guys are really here and then they will keep going for a really long time as long as there is people appreciating vintage lenses like you like me and then servicing them to keep them in the top of their shape okay so what else I can say the last thing we can do comparing these lenses just for the fun and then just to know about them is to check their weight so the Noct is 495 grams and then the Minolta here 478 so you have 16 gram difference between both lenses but then these are just monsters of glass here you have the Nikkor that I told you before is fairly well with the cover without the cover is 300 grams difference so you have on the same volume 300 grams more of glass and metal okay so this is all for the presentation of the lenses let's just go now to the comparisons and then what we're going to do is to do uh, two sets of images so I like to do usually the shortest focal distance the lenses can produce here the Noct is the winner because it can go down to 50 centimeters and then the Minolta can only go down to 60 centimeters so we fix to have a fair comparison between these two lenses to 60 millimeters 60 centimeters actually and then afterwards I will do and then I will show you a set of photos of the lenses working at a more normal distance that you will use for these lenses so let's go for the images before I want to show you this I took my measurements to set my weight balance but as you see the Minolta has some yellowing so to get a fair comparison in the color I did a little correction on the white balance and then here you go 
this is the first image then as I told before here we have the Minolta we are at f1.2 and then here we have the Noct at 1.2 as well and then first thing we can see both images are really really nice just let me zoom a bit then as usual the way I prepared the scene was to get my lens calibration target so I can do proper focusing and have comparable images then I took the Christmas lightning that I put it somehow randomly so I can get a good idea of the bokeh and then I took my little Dexter which I like the colors and then I have the orange and the purple which are opposed on the color spectrum and then just to finish I put this little chain here at the feet of Dexter so we can take a look at the details and then this was put intentionally off the center because near the borders this is where the lenses have the most trouble to work okay so let's start just taking a look at the image and then we can see already a difference I'm not going to talk about the colors you can make your own idea but then as I told you there is some yellowing on the Minolta so your comparison of the colors will be unfair towards this lens okay so first we can see there are slight differences on the bokeh both lenses are producing really really nice bokeh but then the Noct seems to produce bigger bubbles and then you can see that the bokeh here is doing something strange and then I will explain to you what's going on the Minolta has just a tiny bit of separation and then I think this is what is producing this little over reflection on the lens because it has exactly the shape of the separation but then I didn't bother to fix that because the impact is really small just here at the close focusing bokeh otherwise you don't see it usually then we take a look at the face of the Dexter both lenses are producing quite good rendition but I think at 1.2 maybe the Minolta is producing a sharper image but then this is really really relative because if we take a look here at the eyebrows they are looking also very well okay and then just to finish at 1.2 here we move to the focusing position and then what I did to get proper focusing because getting focusing at 1.2 it is really 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 hard so what I did I put both lenses at f2 and then I did the focusing with respect to this collection of black and white squares and then here we go the Noct has a bit just a little bit the edge in terms of sharpness if that is the term I can use at very high aperture we can see that the blowing here that the glowing here is a bit more controlled in comparison with this but then nevertheless both images seem nice and then here we can see that the one is actually in really good contrast and then if we come to the corners then we will see something that the Noct has the Noct when it was designed was optimized to be very sharp in the center even wide open here we see that it's not super sharp but then we are in the extreme condition of being super close so what we see here is that the text is less quality than here whereas the Minolta I guess they were looking to have a more uniform frame when they're doing the design of the lens and then here just to finish at 1.2 you have this image of the bokeh produced by the Noct and then to be honest not it is because the Noct I prefer the bokeh here than here okay so let us jump to 1.4 
and then on the Minolta this lens goes by half stops so what I think is 1.4 is something weird in between but that's the way it is and then here we start seeing immediately the aperture blades the knocked I have has seven there's another version AS version that has nine blades so I guess it will be more rounder and then here the Minolta has something in between it has eight blades but then as you can see it's producing really round bulk and then here as I told you maybe the Minolta at this point is more contrasty and that would be because we are I don't know 1.6 1.8 to be honest I don't really know in which position we are and then here we can see that the knob is just a bit sharper here and then maybe if we go down to the floor to check the chain well we can see that neither of both lenses is producing a lot of details maybe the knocked has a bit of an edge over the minold now let's really move to a true f2 and then usually the deal with 1.2 lenses is that at f2 they actually get crazy sharp and then i think you see it here right now look at the brows of Dexter they got super sharp and then we have even though really really nice bokeh the image the sharp areas are just melting away into something fuzzy and then we have the same behavior in both lenses but I would say maybe the knocked has a more smooth transition here we can see a bit the edge of the gloves whereas here they are just fading away and then here at f2 we have also okay I'm just trying to look at the bokeh and then the bokeh produced by the knot is just slightly bigger and then if we come to the focusing position we can see the knot got super sharp we can see details here specks of dust here as well we can see them but they are slightly less pronounced and then I can even perceive it yet still some spherical aberration that will be this bit of glowing that we see on the edges between the two lenses okay but nevertheless really good and then if we check the corner the Minolta normally should be a bit better because it's designed to be better on the frame we see they are almost equivalent and then here the bokeh on this copper wire I preferred on the knocked okay so let us jump at 2.8 and then we can see here that that the knocked actually got really good in the corner even a bit better than the Minolta if we jump to the focusing position we can see both lenses are producing a rather sharp output with the knocked having the edge as I can see slightly better the particles and the yeah, scratches and so on so then I can see here but still the Minolta is very very good then we take a look at the bokeh the bokeh in both lenses is rather pleasing look at the light here being diffused that is really really nice and, and then I don't think 
modern lenses can handle that at all. And then here, back to Dexter, it is becoming really, really sharp. And then, as I told you before, the transition here is still smooth, whereas here we can see the edge of the gloves and then a bit of the transition towards the fussy regions and then here already on the edge I think uh, the Noct is producing superior results when compared to the Minolta ok now what we're going to do is to pass to F4 now both lenses should be crazy good and then right now we're getting a lot of details as you can see here with both lenses the knocked has a bit of an edge it is just my impression but then I got the feeling that the brows of Dexter are more easy to see they are more pronounced that we what we have here with the Minolta then I can see a bit more details on this controller or whatever that is and then if we go we can see that stars start to appear and then here I would say I prefer the stars made by the Minolta so they are more uniform and then here you have a white strip and then a thin strip that I like less but then that's a construction of the diaphragm and then in terms of sharpness I think we are very very good with both lenses even here on the corner we are extremely good maybe the Noct has a small advantage and then maybe I want to show you something here you can see that there is some reflections that are appearing here that's actually due because I have the hood for the Noct I wasn't able to find the hood for the Minolta and then I have some of this Christmas lightning that are reflecting against the lens. I don't 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 ask me how that works, but yeah, this this is happening. And then just to finish, let us move to 5.6, and then again, the general feeling of the image is really good. We have stars. I told you I like more the stars created by the Minolta than everything is now sharp in the frame let us take a look here at the feet of Dexter you see all the details we can see them now with maybe the not having an edge on the details here but yeah very very good then again the focusing region very 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 good details all over yeah seems super good they are comparable maybe the knocked is just a tad sharper but then yeah this is irrelevant for the use of these lenses and then obviously the Minolta is more easy to find and then more accessible than the Noct so I think we can sacrifice a bit of the performance against yeah really high constraints that the Noct has okay 
So this is all for the very short focusing distance comparison and then maybe what I forgot to tell you is that the focusing distance was given by the Minolta which is 60 centimeters. The Noct can go further because his minimum focusing distance is 50 centimeters. Now we'll move to the standard operating distance comparisons. So for the standard distance comparison I went into the forest looking for the right spot. I found this. I like it a lot. So I set up my tripod, everything. Here are the images I took with the Noct. And these are the images I took with the rocker. But I'm not going to use it for the comparison because as you can see here the sun changed a bit position and then I got this light here in the middle that produces a rather good image in my opinion but then it completely breaks the dynamic of the image so I don't feel it's going to be fair make a comparison of, out of it but then nevertheless I wanted to show it to you because well in my opinion both lenses made a really really interesting image here I have to say I prefer the rocker here but it is maybe because yeah this light here adds something to the total image okay so then I move a bit further I found this place well it's just behind and then what I did is I went to this side which gave me the opportunity to make really good focusing because I have really good contrast here so I can focus really really good by zooming in and so on so this is the image and then this is written in French what is written there is it is forbidden to swim or do scuba diving in this lake because it is dangerous that's it okay I was telling you I made the focus in here we can see immediately a difference the Noct is a lot sharper in the center but then this we noticed already and then the lens was designed to do that the Minolta I would say is not bad it doesn't have chromatic aberration because here you can see with the Noct a bit of chromatic aberration if we move towards the edge of the image then we can see what we saw already on the close distance images is that the Noct loses sharpness towards the edge but you can say okay this is intentionally done and it can provide some interesting images and then here the rocker on the other hand it is constant all through the frame so it also has its uses and then here when we reach the edge you see the Noct is completely fuzzy the image is interesting nevertheless look like painted and then here we have uh, with the roco we have an uh, image that is a bit more real we can also see that maybe here on the bottom yeah you see looks more like a painting whereas the rocker as i just said before looks a bit more real then since these guys are really made to be used at 1.2 I took different images I'm going to show you all the 1.2 versions so this one here in the same lake from a different position the sign you saw before is here a bit far away and then here you have the image two very different color renditions but then remember that the rocker has some yellowing so that means there is maybe a radioactive element into the lens nevertheless quality is extremely good 
here and the noct looks a bit colder so I would say I prefer the image here made by the rocker maybe here we can do some weight balance correction but then straight out of the camera I prefer this image and by far if we look at the sharpness I would say well but images look quite equivalent with the knocked just having a very 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 small edge on the rocker something else here we can notice the knocked has a bit of more of a bulky effect you see here they look like bubbles a little bit a little bit less yeah, more diffuse whereas here with the rocker they look a bit more concentrated yeah, and then again more of a painting effect than with the rocker who simply looks like some chromatic aberration not chromatic aberration some aberration I don't know which one one last image still on the same lake well it's more like a dam actually and then there was this stick lying around and then I did the focusing on the tip of the stick once again we see that the knocked is being sharper in the center on the other hand we have some chromatic aberration which in this case here I will say they look interesting the rocker doesn't have any of that and then if we go a bit further we find once more that bulky effect that the knot is producing and then a more smooth transition towards the bulky okay so this is for the 1.2 in my opinion both lenses perform super good so if you ask me which one do you prefer I would say both well the knot has two problems it is extremely difficult to find and then once you find one the price is usually a no-go I was able to find mine I was really really lucky and then I didn't pay a lot but I looked for one like for four years and then the rocker it is also a bit rare as I told you maybe in the beginning I got this from the United States for repair the owner got it in really bad condition I put it again into shape so you can maybe take a look at that video well it's actually a series of videos in which I show all the repairs I do into the rocker and then at the end we reach this result in which we have the lens very very contrasty and then in the beginning it wasn't the case because there was hay as well many many things the rocker even though it's a bit difficult to find is a lot cheaper so we're talking about maybe three hundred dollars or so okay so let me go back to this image here and then what I'm going to do now is to move to f2 and then one thing which is rather common for 1.2 lenses is that at f2 they got really really good and then let us take a look and then here you go well the knocked was sharp before and then here it just got extremely good you can see here and then the Minolta got really really good it lacks a bit of definition as you can see here but nevertheless the lens looks super good and then we have maybe some difference in depth of field or maybe it is just the wind okay let us just settle that here because I see this little branch here is a bit sharp with both lenses 
here this one is a bit fuzzy whereas here with the rocker we can see it clearly so I would say it has a different depth of field and then here yeah and this one we see it good with both lenses and then this one that is even further yeah here it looks a bit fuzzy but then a bit dreamy that's something I like and then with the knocked here we can see it is completely fade away okay so let us jump rather quickly to 2.8 no surprises here but lenses are very very good the Minolta did a very very important jump so the pot feel we saw it is a bit better well it's not really the word I would use is deeper and then we see here that at 2.8 it got really really contrasty so we can see here out of details we have still this depth field difference in which the rocker has an advantage because this branch here we can see it a lot better whereas here is still fuzzy and then we still have this one as reference so maybe they move it with the wind but then I remember that that day it wasn't any wind at all so and then if we keep our reference here we can see that these guys which seem to look to be in the same plane yeah they are sharp and then the rest that are a bit before, behind are slightly different so if you're looking for low light capabilities and then a usable depth field I would say the rocker is totally the way to go okay let us take a look at the parts of the image in which there was a big difference and then here even at 2.8 we can see that the noct is producing yeah, not nothing very sharp at the edge of the image but then we have still this kind of painting effect which is really, really interesting and then here with the rocker yeah doesn't look really interesting it just looks like some uh, bad behavior of the lens so let us jump to the stick image and then we look at both at 2.8 as we just did before and then well from a distance both images look very very good I like them both with again the rocker having an advantage on the colors but then I repeat again we have this bit of yellow wind which makes images immediately warmer and then if we zoom to the stick well we see that the knocked it is extremely sharp so we can see a lot of details here on the stick probably I didn't mention that before or I did it we are using here a 45 megapixel camera that would be a Nikon Z7 and then we can see very very good details with yeah, the knocked fading gently into bokeh and then the rocker having a more, more rough transition towards yeah, towards the bulky ok and then let us jump to f4 and then you will probably tell me ok using a 1.2 lens at f4 is a bit useless it's like the guy who saw me the note he was like yeah this lens is super good at f8 and I was like yeah but every lens is good at f8 so 
juriously the wrong. Okay, and then here the image loaded, and then I got real impression that the rocker at f4 got really really good, really really sharp. Here we can see a lot of details. Here with the knocked as well. But then, well, I have to say, I, li I really like the result of both. I think this image is going to be really nice in black and white. Probably will print it. Okay, and then let us just look last two images. 5.6 and then both images look super good. So, did we lose the edge the rocker had regarding the pot field or keep it and then I would say yeah at 5.6 they look almost identical and then actually they're saying that the rocker at 5.6 looks sharper than the knocked well or at least they are quite equivalent here I can see a bit more of details regarding that but then this is a screw and then here we're zooming at about 100% and then the image looks like 2 meter big if we were able to print it like that Okay, and then just for finish, just to take what this guy told me, let us just take a look at F8, and then yeah, F8, I have to say, but images look the same, yeah. Actually, the rocker is sharper. Let me just pull a bit back. Yeah, the rocker looks a lot better in my opinion. But then, yeah, if you're using these lenses at f8, I don't know. You are doing it wrong. This is my opinion, I just wanted to show you these two lenses that I really like a lot. They knocked, I will be keeping it and using it for a really long time. I don't have the intention of getting rid of it at least soon. And then the Rocor, I was sad of parting ways with it, but then it had to go to his proper owner who is really enjoying it. And this is all I want to show you today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.